All right, guys, so today we are going to be breaking down yet another exciting global producers letter from our very own global producer, Koto. This video dropped about 15 minutes ago on the official global Twitter page, and it provided us with some pretty interesting details, or at least previews, for the next part of the superhero celebration, which is apparently dropping on JP first still, which uh, is not super surprising, but global will be getting it shortly after at the end of October. So yeah, with that said, let's jump right into it. She basically starts by saying hello, doing her intros, and then she talks about the uh, preview video from yesterday, the teaser video for the upcoming characters, which as you guys might know, will be Gamma 1 and Gamma 2 from the Dragon Ball Super superhero movie. Now, one thing that I was not expecting was that uh, they're separate units. As you can see, there's a Gamma 1 unit and a Gamma 2 unit. The art look incredible, by the way. They look awesome, but I thought they would be one unit, like a Gamma 1 and 2 join forces unit, right? But instead, it's two individual units, which is fine. But on top of that, the even more interesting part, the even more surprising part is that they're going to be Dokkan Fest units, guys. As you can see at the bottom, it says Dokkan Festival. Straight from the movie Dragon Ball Super Superhero, Gamma 1 and Gamma 2 will finally arrive at the Dokkan Festival. Dokkan Festival. And this was something that I was, I mean, not like, not expecting. You know, I did think it was a possibility, but in my mind, they were going to be like regular SSRs, you know, maybe on like a Rising Dragon Carnival banner or something like that. But instead, they're Tokan Fest units, which obviously means that they're probably going to be really, really powerful and uh, their animations will be absolutely top tier. So I can't wait for that. The only thing that gives me a little bit of uh, hesitation is that I think a lot of people right now are probably pretty low on stones, you know, coming off the worldwide celebration, coming off the uh, anniversary on Global, which was not too long ago. So, um, yeah, stones might be an issue for some people, but aside from that, uh, I'm stoked, guys. I'm super excited for the Dokkan Fest Gamma 1 and Gamma 2. Their arts, like I said, are awesome. Uh, they got the Dokkan or Dokkan, however you say it, in the back here from the movie. It would have been really cool, actually, if they ch uh, changed the M right there to an N for Dokkan, obviously, but um, it's fine. It's fine. And yeah, that's pretty much the big reveal from this video, aside from the arts which, once again, are incredible. Uh, they're Dokkan Festival units. I'm not sure if they're gonna be like a dual Dokkan Festival kind of thing where, you know, we have two banners, one for Gamma 1 and one for Gamma 2, or if it's gonna be just one Dokkan Festival banner with both of them on the same banner. Not too sure, but uh, either way, they're Dokkan Fest units, they're coming soon. Uh, I believe they did say at the end of October um, for Global, and probably a bit earlier for JP. Uh, from there, she says they will both be featured simultaneously in the Dokkan Festival. They don't say anything about dual Dokkan Festival, so I'm assuming it's one Dokkan Festival banner. But I could be wrong, we'll see. And uh, yeah, it's part two of the movie collaboration. We got some Dokkan events for Gamma 1 and 2, of course. We got uh, new stages for the special event, Path to Ultimate Power, Gohan and Piccolo. That's where we got the free-to-play Team Gohan, right? And through these new stages, um, she doesn't specify here, but I'm pretty sure that means that Gohan will be getting a Dokkan Awakening, and possibly an Extreme Z Awakening as well. That'd be awesome. And yeah, she says right here, planning to hold it around the end of October for the international version. Uh, after the event begins on the Japanese version. So for Japan, I guess it's starting in a, in a couple days or maybe like tomorrow or something like that. And then a week or two later, Global gets it, uh, gets it as well. So it's not really going to be a huge wait. It's not going to be like a big delay, but it's not a simultaneous release like we thought yesterday 
after seeing that teaser video, right? So uh, we still do have to wait a little bit, but it's fine. We're global players, so we're used to waiting, right? And after that, I don't think there's really anything else too important in this video. She did say we have some events going on right now for the LR Vegito Blue Extremes Awakening, of course, for the new story stages that are coming soon. And then we also have a Halloween campaign that's coming at the end of the month, like every year. And that is about it, guys. Yeah, that wraps it up. She promotes the social media pages. Bye bye. And guys, uh, there you go. That was the global producer's letter. There is Gamma 1 and Gamma 2 upcoming Dokkan Fest units on Global and JP. Uh, I would expect to see their animations and details probably tomorrow, um, most likely, but I'm not sure about that either. So when they drop, I'll let you guys know, but uh, they should be very good. <laughs> they should be very, very good. Their animations should be, you know, off the charts because if you guys have seen the movie, if you've seen, you know, some of these attacks and some of these animations for these guys, uh, there's no reason they shouldn't be some of the better animations in the game you know so yeah excited for that and uh let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about it man do you like the fact they're dokkan fest units or would you have preferred if they were free to play or regular you know non dokkan fest ssrs um or something like that i mean yeah once again it was it was it was not like a huge surprise you know it's not something i didn't consider but it's still kind of crazy to see it actually, you know, happen. You know, that they are actually Dokkan Fest units um, before before we get a Dokkan Fest Orange Piccolo and Dokkan Fest Beast Gohan as well, which is also kind of interesting. Um, I guess they're just slowly ramping things up to the main guys, right? The Beast Gohan and the Orange Piccolo sometime at the end of this year or maybe beginning of next year who knows but uh to release gamma one and two as dokkan fest first before piccolo and gohan is an interesting move it's definitely an interesting move um i'm sure that they considered it from a business perspective and thought that it'd be smarter to do things this way so you know i mean obviously they know how to make money so i'm not gonna criticize anything but it's just interesting that we got these guys as Dokkan Fest first before Gohan and Piccolo, but um, that's it guys. That's all I really got to say. There's not much more to break down in this video. It was a very short video, and uh, hopefully we get those details soon. We get to see exactly what these guys can do. Um, for now, that's all I got to say. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.